Welcome back to Atelier Sophie, everybody. So, uh, I was doing some off-screen stuff, and uh, ended up hitting out against a cutscene that I was not prepared for. So I have saved that in a separate file. I reloaded, and so you guys can see it, because it's adorable. Uh, so, I'm making the Philosopher's Stone, which is, you know, Synthesis 99 Hours. So we're gonna right. say this is okay. Ten. And bam, we have a Philosopher's yeah. Stone. Um, I believe those were basically the same ones I chose. Okay, it's finished. Go us. It's done. Oh, I'm tired. I want to become candy. I want to become a bomb. Huh? Was someone talking? I want to become medicine. What? I heard it again. The only person around is Plakta. Hey, Plakta? Yes, what is it? I thought I heard a strange voice just now. Were you talking? No, I haven't said a word. And I don't think I heard anything. Huh, weird. Could have sworn I heard somebody. Maybe you're just tired, Sophie. Hmm. Maybe. That seems most likely. You should get some rest. Hmm. Was I really just hearing things? I'm kind of curious now. No, you weren't just hearing things. You were finally hearing your ingredients talk to you. Yay! It's so adorable. All right. So now we're gonna return the title. And I may as well start recording an episode now. Uh, this is where we want to go. I need to change the BGM back to... I changed the BGM to the old BGM, because I was like, you know, I was thinking about it, when, you know, this is not the original BGM. There we go. Um, the only real thing I did, honestly, was I made, uh, Sophie a very, very nice weapon. Um... With well-rounded power, Dragon Soul, which increases all stats by 15, increases skill power by 20%, and Steel Life, which you know what that is. Um, so we buffed her up a lot. Uh, that was actually basically it. Um, the only other thing that was going on, if I go to the cafe at least... Oh, hi. <laughs> Thank you very much. You're quite welcome. I am happy it was to your liking. Hello, Sir Julio. Ah, Sophie, hello. Welcome, Sophie. What were you doing here? I was drinking some tea from my country, Adelette. Huh? From your country? Yes, it was, a, it was a very nostalgic taste. It brought back many memories of my homeland. He also shared some of the tea leaves with me. I'll be able to enjoy this tea on my own now. That sounds great. Anyway, I'll be taking my leave. I'll return again sometime. Yes, I'll be awaiting your return. Sir Julio seemed really happy. The flavors of one's homeland are unforgettable memories to everyone. He was quite worth serving it if he enjoyed it. One's homeland, huh? I guess the, to the people of Kirchenbell, your tea is the flavor of our homeland. Aha, I'm happy to hear you. I'm happy you feel that way. Thank you. <laughs> That's funny. Hi, Meister Horst. Welcome. Which request will you accept? Oh, only three for me? Is that is that really all you're going to give me? I understand why, though, and you're going to see why in a second, I think. Um, let's see. Oh, that I can do. Because, um, well, first off, let's do this. Because I should have one, one of these I can give away fairly easily, I'm sure. There. Bam. You've gone. Okay. Uh, perfect gem for my girlfriend. We will turn this in. Uh. You've got okay. <clears throat> Remember that uh, break trust thing? Thank you. This is how you break trust. You intend to refuse a request? Are you sure? I see. I can understand why, but it's not exactly praiseworthy. What? And that should be five. <clears throat> oh, I did one other thing. Um, I made this. 
<clears throat> Flame of Origin. Power of Creation. Deals very powerful physical damage. Can also randomly cause a number of effects. Consume MPM is obvious. Recycle. The item use count might not decrease when used. The chance is high. Weak to changes. Increases the effectiveness of status ailments on the target. It does not increase the chances of ailments occurring. Which, considering I don't use those much, meh. You know what one hit kill is. This is 15% extra damage, and this is, you know, as more damage as multiple things uh, with more targets. Uh, hi, sir. Oh, this is still up? I've, it's been like days. Oh, we're about Harold. Harold likes guns quite a lot, and he's especially talkative when it comes to bullets. Now that I think about it, he mentioned that he can't forgive the ridiculous bullets in circulation lately. Um. Oh, the ruler of ice is the, the ice spirit again. I could... I could... After a brutal dragon. Uh, that must be the the other dragon. But I've got I've got a dragon I can kill repeatedly right now. I don't need to pay I don't need to pay for another dragon to kill. Um hi Tess. Welcome to Tess's shop. What will you trade for? I've been looking at this thing. Just take it. Thanks for your business. Come. Uh let's see. Uh, better stats. Break Enhance L is, yep, increases break value. Super Resist halves turn delaying effects. Well, that's cool. Break Resistance is nice. She could use that. Defense. Damage is dealt to broken targets and increases all stats by 15 skill power by type 20. Um, honestly, that's probably better than her Meister Mittens, uh, overall. Congrats, Sophie. You are the new owner of a Hustle Belt. Uh, hi, Oscar. Ah, Sophie, perfect timing. Huh? Do you need something? There's somewhere I want to go next time we go outside of town. Could we go there? I don't mind, but why are you asking so suddenly? I read about a place where lots of rare plants grow in a book at Elise's shop. There were a number of types that I've never seen before, so I wanted to go check. Hmm, they might be good alchemy materials, too. It's okay, right? There are three different places written in the book. Okay, I got it. We'll try going there sometime. Alright, thanks. I'm looking forward to this. Don't act so carefree about it. If you're going to travel, you'd better finish all your work first. Yeah, yeah. Oscar, working is important. Uh, go to Proctor Strand, Underground Lake, and Moon Sun Moor. Well, you knew that. Um, let's see. So I think... So I think everybody's got upgraded weapons and armor now. Actually, no. You don't. But I don't know if I can make your new, a new weapon for you, girl. Um, I don't know if I have another one of the, the items you need. Hey, Logi. Welcome. What weapon do, do I have everything I need for a new uh, claw for her? I do. Tell me which materials to use. Um, let's see. That might be good. Um, that's the only one we've got. Um, this is unfortunate, though, um, because this is going to really reduce the amount of uh, potential bonuses I can give her. That's unfortunate. Unless I were to try to make something with bonuses for her. I mean, that'll give me all stat enhance, which is better than nothing, but... Still. Um, I don't have all that much control over stuff. I'm actually trying, thinking of going on with the story soon. Um, yeah, unless I wanted to make a new Harmonium. What about Tell this? Which materials to use. It'll still be something better. Um... But, I, and I'll be able, I should be able to get some nice stuff out of these all stat enhance, all stat boost. Um, what is Ward's Evil 2? Increases damage dealt to demon and undead enemies. Um, uh, well, I guess I should just go through these, huh? Uh, 
Uh, ancient seal is what? Hoonian magical creatures. All stat enhanced power of beasts. Uh, hold on, this has all stat enhanced. Oh, this has a Vidya attack. Um, let's see, what do I get from that? All stats super enhanced, which all stats by 10, which is good. Power of Beasts and a Vidya attack. Is this all right? Um, probably. Is this all right? All right, it's done. I, think it I just want to well. give her something better right now. I don't want to, um, I don't think I really want to min-max as much. Yeah, as long as it's something better, I'm happy. Um, she won't, da she won't absorb damage anymore, but that's okay. Um, oh, forgive me. I'm starting to get the, the grind starting to get to me. It's like right, it's to? way too much to do, and I haven't made any story progress, and that's killing me right now. So, I'm gonna actually get make the key of truth sometime soon. Possibly this episode depends on what else, how I get done with like all this. Did people make these stones? There's a legend that says a nation lived here long ago and made them. No, there's the legend that says a nation that lived here long ago made them. It seems people lived even in places like this in the ancient past. Huh. I didn't know. It's said that this could have once been a church. What? A church? Yes. The shape is different, but there are stone monuments, and there are also many graves. That means there could still be plants surviving here that the people of the past grew. Ah, Oscar. Where did you go? You realize we came here to gather plants, right? I was searching for them. I'm the one doing what we came here for. Ha <laughs> sorry about that. By the way, did you find the plant you were looking for? Yeah, of course, here. Huh, I've never seen this before. That was the funky-looking thing I was looking for. Apparently, it was originally grown for use in medicine. It should be useful for alchemy. I see, thanks, Oscar. Does that mean I can gather them there now? You can now gather Altair. That's what- okay. Uh, okay. I am not taking on the the uh, deity of light again. Next? Um. Oh, actually, that's funny. It was shining only as a coincidence that it happened to be on the same event as Oscar. Underground Lake and Prospector Strand, huh? That's funny. It's money. It's a spring of clean water. Health by 10. Nice. This is a pretty place. The water in Kirchenbell flows from here, but it's much cleaner, clearer here. I came from a place near the sea, so I know a lot about the ocean. But vast lakes are beautiful, too. I've never seen the ocean. <laughs> it doesn't look too much different from this. The main difference is whether you see mountains or islands. Although, the scent of the wind is far different. Huh, I'd like to go sometime. I would too. I'd also like to visit the church's head cathedral. Yes, you can come visit any time. I'll guide you when- I'll guide you around when you do. Okay. Huh? By the way, where is Oscar? Hey, everyone, come over here. You're hopeless. Why don't you stick closer to the group? That's not important right now. Look at this. What about this plant? What do you mean, what about it? This is the plant we came here for. It's a rare type that only grows in the mountains near clean water. Is it really that rare? I would have never even known. Same here. It looks like an ordinary plant without any special features. It can be used as an ingredient to make rare medicines, among many other uses. This would probably be perfect for alchemy. Yeah, thanks, Oscar. We can now gather crimson herb. Well, this is helping fill things out. Well, out of curiosity, does that mean, like, I can literally grab it? Like, right now grab it? Hmm. 
Not so much. Oh, there we go. Slime compound. Huh? I won't bother gathering too much of it. Wait, did another thing pop up? <coughs> I should have gathered uh, some of the other stuff, huh? Just to get some. Oh well, we'll get it again. Got a destination? Yeah, I do. We're going here now. Get the last plant. I've seen this before, but it's amazing every time. It's surprising to see so much water stored up underground. But the water in the river comes welling up from underground somewhere too, so I suppose this is very possible. It's a really unusual, vi unusual environment though. The plant we're looking for could be here. Oh, he oh there! Hey Oscar, wait up! I knew it! Everyone, look at this! Is this the pla is that the plant we were looking for? Yeah, that's right. They're really weak to sunlight. That's why they live like this underground. Also, there's little temperature change inside a cave. It's pretty much the same environment all year round. That's why so many plants can live here. Huh, I didn't know. I might be able to synthesize something really unusual with them. But they're inhabiting such a humid and dark place. Could they be poisonous? There's no need to worry about that. I can tell which ones are poisonous and which ones aren't. Wait, what? You can do that too, Oscar? Hehehe, <laughs> I never told you, but I was always checking the things you gathered. Ah, now that you mention it, sometimes things I could have sworn I gathered would just be missing. Sophie, you didn't think it was strange? <laughs> I thought I was just misremembering. I was always removing things that were too dangerous to keep. I, I didn't know. Thank you. Not a problem. Anyway, we should start gathering. Okay. You can now gather princess grass. Oh, cool. Let's see if I can get some. Is it on the other side here? There we go. Cuts easily damage absorb, but it's got high plant and medicine mats. Okay. That's fair. Return to Kirchen Bell. I don't... Oh, I don't know if I still have my thingy on me. <laughs> my little escape pass thing. I don't think I do. No. How's the basket doing? 21 empty slots? Let's see if we can gather at least one more... Two more things. Alright. Oh, well. Something else just popped up over here. Oh, no. I want to go back here. This is where you yeah. I got... I got all turned around. I'm not gonna bother getting that by the ghost. <coughs> Where to? Home! Phew, I'm tired. I got to meet all the plants I wanted to. I'm satisfied. Thanks again, Sophie. I'm tired, too, after being dragged around by you. It'll all, it's all fine. It'll be for your own good in the end, too, Monica. What does that mean? I found new plants, so Sophie should be able to make new things with alchemy. You'll be able to use the items she makes, too, so you'll be benefiting. She'll make you new snacks. Seriously. <laughs> That's true. I need to work hard and synthesize them for that. Yeah, the plants will be happy, too, if you do that. Talking about the voices of plants again? Yep, they're all trying to tell us how they feel. I think it's my duty to let people know what they're trying to say. Yeah, yeah. Oh, Agile Heavyweight. There you go. Uh, okay. Let's go back to the cafe. Welcome. Which request would... I wonder if I have to uh, regain everyone's confidence <laughs> after uh, having gotten rid of all those things. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You've gone. 
Okay. Welcome. What room? Nothing big. I'll... Uh, let's see something. Uh, it'll cost a lot, but maybe I have, maybe I can make some good, like a good enhancement or two on here. Yeah, this is probably the best. What does this do? Oh, hold on. Hold my horses here. That's an extra 7, 12, 7 there on the attack, defense, and speed. This is better. You're sure, right? Yep, I'm sure. I'm curious about something, yeah. Okay, yeah. That's good. That's all I wanted, to do one. Sophie just, Sophie's just so weak, I just want to make sure she can last a little longer. And since we've still got fair height on the thing... Okay. Let's go back home. Flame of the end. Well, what materials should I use? Uh, alchemy level 10 too low. <laughs> well, I can't get any better than that. Wow, this is even more powerful than the Flame of Origin, what really? What materials should I use? Uh, well, I'm gonna, let's see, go with red. Um, sure. Uh, sure. I won't be able to make this one as powerful. I actually used the Dunkle Stern and the Dragon Heart. I had to make that other thing really freaking powerful. So, uh, let's see. Uh, let's see what else we got here. Oh, and I realized that easy to handle stuff, uh, reducing that, doesn't matter if it's Sophie. Sophie's got unlimited use anyway, so I shouldn't even, if it's just for her, it, I shouldn't even bother. Um, use count up might be good. Let's see, single bonus might be good. Let's put a single bonus on there. Big destruction plus intense destruction. Now I have destruction up plus plus. So the best I could get is all right. Let's just do destruction up plus. Let's just do that. Um, do a pendulock for one, and then sort by category value and. See if there's something else I can get that'll be that'll help at least bump this up so that I can. Well, I, I could I could give it the philosopher stone, um, for bang, dang dang ninety nine points. Um, I don't really want to do that though. Um, we hmm. Let's just see what. Oh gosh, I forgot. I figured this. I should have figured this was going to be another majorly broken one. Um, these are so hard to work with now, because even then, if you look, there are some things that just don't work with them. Like it's so broken, I don't think there's anywhere for me to place this at all. Usually, it's not that bad. Usually, I can at least place them somewhere. But wow, I literally have to select a new material here. Um.
Uh, maybe I'll just screw that. I mean, as I said, I'm trying to... I kind of want to move on, so I don't want to spend too much time. So if I were to do, like... Uh, actually, I need to... I was like, hold on, I need to pay attention to size. Um, those are way too big. Probably gonna want fairy okay, cauldron. Um, <laughs> excuse me. Yeah, this is going great. All right, this is going well. Pacification L. That sounds. That sounds funky. Oh gosh. Um, I think yes, yeah, I can fit that great. there. Can I fit this somewhere else? I may have to fit it here, which would suck. Yeah, but it won't take good. away the points that one's already gotten. So that's decent. Oh gosh. I have to break something. Ah. All right. This is going well. If you say so, Sophie. If you say so. Yeah, this is going great. Is this really okay? Sure, I'll take pacification L. I think. Or do I want to work my way towards the break? Oh, Meh. Right. I'll it now. Now, One hit kill. Um, only Sophie can use it, so we don't need to customs quickly. Um, super fine is probably good. I'll give this one single this bonus. Okay. Yeah. Okay, Alright, Sophie. Oh, I don't think I read the uh, Flame of Origin. It's said that this flame was the origin of all things. All things? Like dirt and the wind, too? Yes, it's unknown if it's true, though. But now I can also equip... The Flame of the End. It's said that this flame will continue to grow until it brings about the end of the world in the future. Is it really okay to use something like that? It's still only a spark. There shouldn't be a problem. <laughs> um, Aurora of Ruin. Deals ultimate non-attribute damage. This is not affected by any resistance. The damage increases according to how powerful the applied traits are. Uh, consume and him. Level down L. Reduces the target level a lot. Uh, pacifies the enemy, delaying the activation of powerful attacks. One hit kill, super fine, single bonus. It's only got two shots. Well, you're loaded for bear now, girl. She has a nectar of life now. Good. Okay. I'm gonna save. <coughs> okay. Let's make that key a truth, shall we? What should I make? What material should I use? Is this which cauldron is best? Grandma's cauldron. Let's start. This grandma's cauldron is best. I think something good will happen. Okay. Yeah, it's really okay. Alright. What traits is this okay? <laughs> yeah, that's okay. Okay. I don't think it works like that, but still. Okay. Plata! Look! Look! This is Sophie, you've finally done it. Very well. Can you lend me the key of truth for a moment? Oh, sure. Here. What did you just do? I released the seal on the gates of wisdom. We can go there at any time now. Really? And that means we can finally... Yes, 
The path to the cauldron of knowledge has just opened. We did it! Now I'll be able to use even more amazing alchemy! <laughs> Congratulations. You worked hard to come this far. Yeah. Anyway, we should head over there. Yes, we should. <gasps> I was wondering when you were going to remember something, Plockton. What's wrong, Plockta? Did you just remember something? Sophie, I may have just committed a terrible mistake. You sealed it for a reason, didn't you? Huh? What do you mean? I have a bad feeling. We should hurry to the gates of wisdom as quickly as possible. Because you didn't just unlock it for us, did you? Um, where, where did she go? Locked her? Okay. What, what, what are you doing here, Plockta? Are you in the bar? Oh. Hi. How was it? It was quite well made. Thank you. Hey, Plockta. Oh, Sophie. Welcome, Sophie. Plockta, what were you doing? As you can see, I was drinking tea. But you can't taste anything, can you? That's right. Wait, you can't taste anything? Yes. However, I can determine its composition. I see. That's quite surprising. I've never served a customer like this. If I may suggest, if you change the tea leaves from two and a half teaspoons to, to two and a half spoons to two and third spoons, you'll be able to draw out better flavor. I I see. Anyway, uh, anyway, I'll be going for today. Oh, she left. I've never been given advice like that either. <laughs> She's very unique. Oh good, you're back home. I need to talk to you. Okay, what should I use? Uh, let's see. I I want a new uh I want a new Plakta for this. Actually, if I do I remember reading that I could use the Philosopher's Stone. <laughs> I mean, I don't think there's any harm in it, really. Her HP goes up by 33. That's, that's fantastic, actually. Uh, sort by Encyclopedia, actually, is probably the best. Um... This, <laughs> that, that's far superior to anything else I could give her, probably. As a spoiler, I'm probably just going to put Plockta back into her default outfit for the endgame. I 
may just do this. I don't know what that is. And I don't feel like figuring it out right now. We're going back to the original plot. Well, actually. Yeah, we're going to go back to the original plot, I think. Defense go down 12, or attack go up, or HP and MP are going to go up. Fine. Let's do it! There we go. I am actually. Believe it or not, I'm going to save. Where's my low with it? Where's my oldest slot? Here? I'll save here just in case I want to see what that body is again. Alright. Um, I checked everybody's equipment. I think we're about as good as we're going to get. It's the world map. Where to? Uh, wherever the thingy is. I, I didn't... Um, I thought it was going to be a new area. Gates of Wisdom deep in the Enlightened Mountain. Oh. Ate some delicious fruit. <laughs> HP recovered by 15. Nice. All right. I hope it was just a groundless fear. Me too, but knowing that knowing what's been going on, not so much. Hey, wait, Plakta. Why are you rushing so much? Can you explain it to me? Right. I need to tell you about this. Please do. You aren't the only one seeking the cauldron of knowledge. There have been some patiently waiting all this time for a chance to obtain the cauldron. Yeah, like Atomina and her brother... What's his face? Wait, really? It's been forever since I've seen them, so yes. I don't remember. It's a device with such enormous power. It would only be natural for there to be many people seeking it. Well, now that you mention it, that makes sense. However, among them, <laughs> there are two who especially mustn't be allowed to obtain it. Oh, gosh. Maklet and Atomina. Maklet and Atomina. They must not have the cauldron. Wait, those two? It's true that they mentioned the Cauldron of Knowledge before, but why not? Their intentions are not good. Those two likely seek to use the Cauldron to return to their previous form. Oh! The form of an alchemist from my time. Oh! What do you mean? Yeah, what do you mean? <laughs> 500 years ago, I fought a certain alchemist. His name at the time was Luard. The true form of Mechlet and Atomina. Huh. During the battle 500 years ago, I fought Luar and emerged victorious. Then I split and sealed his soul away in two bodies, artificial life forms called Mechlet and Atomina. Interesting. You talked about artificial life forms before. They're the ones that are human, yet not human, right? Yes, they possess eternal life as objects resembling humans. That's their true identity. You were a pretty freaking powerful alchemist, weren't you? So why do they want the Cauldron of Knowledge? Because he wants to become Luard again. Their bodies, created through alchemy, cannot use alchemy themselves. That's why it's impossible for them to use alchemy to return to their former self. However, tell me, what would happen if they had the Cauldron of Knowledge? If the Cauldron of Knowledge lets anyone use alchemy, even they would be able to use it? Exactly. Using the cauldron, they could return to their true form. That is their desire. Normally, since they cannot create the key of truth, coming here would be impossible for them. But... Oh, I see. This is because I made the key of truth. Mm -hmm. No, this isn't your fault. If only I had remembered um, this sooner. Well, yeah, no, it's not nobody's fault. It's just, I, I, forgive me, Plakta, I'm going to blame you. You shouldn't have unlocked it right away. You should have gone here first and then said, I will now use the key of truth. That would have been a much better option. Plakta? If those two obtain the cauldron of knowledge, it would become a grave situation. We need to hurry. One second. <laughs> go away, go away, go away.
Hey, you're late. <laughs> really late. We were waiting for so long. Mechlin! Atomina! Damn it! We didn't make it in time. From that tone, it sounds like we finally remembered who we are. And you had completely forgotten about us until now. You expected this, so you put your soul in that book. But you forgot all the important details. How laughable. Although, it was a little beyond our predictions that you would forget about the key of truth, too. I guess that's another thing to add to the list that we need to thank Sophie for. Not only did you bring back Fakta's memories, but you made the key for us, too. Yeah. It's all thanks to you, Sophie, that we were able to reach the Cauldron of Knowledge. Sophie, you're a really nice person. Unlike a certain someone there. Yeah, seriously. She went so far as to turn us into these... things. We couldn't use alchemy, and we couldn't go back to normal. We couldn't even age and die. Living in these bodies for the last 500 years was torture. But our pain finally ends today. That's because... Our, our wish will, will finally, finally be fulfilled. It has been quite some time since I met you in this form, Plakta. The Ward! Your form has changed quite a bit since then. Now that I am my former self, it seems our positions have been reversed. That doesn't matter. If it's been reversed, I just have to turn you back. Your demeanor certainly hasn't changed. However, I could care less. I simply wish to pursue alchemy as I see fit. I know our reunion was short, but farewell. Stop, Luard! Fakta! Let's return to the Atmir, Sophie. I'll tell you everything there. Okay. Alrighty. Let's ah uh, go away go away go away. I don't have my I don't have my go I don't have my go home thingy. Ah. Should we be thankful for the bird for providing us some levity in this very serious moment in time? It's chasing me to the entrance. Oh gosh. <coughs> oh gosh. Um, actually, hold on a second. Let me see something. Cause I don't, I don't think I had access to this place before, did I? So maybe I could get nice materials from here. I don't want to fight a bird though. Eh, in theory, I could. I won't bother spending too much time here. Oh boy. Okay, we found a spring of clear water, played in it. Look over Money! Ten coal. I'm going to tell you about the past, about myself, and Luard. Luard was an exceedingly skilled alchemist. He was also a fellow researcher of alchemy alongside me. He wasn't originally the way you just saw him. However, at one point, he began walking the wrong path. Luard was taken in by the power of alchemy, 
His research became more and more self-righteous and selfish. I tried to convince him to stop, but he wouldn't listen to me. In fact, he began to immerse himself in his alchemy research even further. If allowed to continue, his research could have affected the entire world. That's why I fought to stop him. I killed him with my own hands and split his soul into two artificial life forms. However, there was one thing that concerned me. The Cauldron of Knowledge. Artificial life forms can't use alchemy, but the Cauldron is an exception. As long as the Cauldron existed, there was a possibility of Luard returning to his former self. That's why I sealed my own soul in that book. I could change hands between alchemists, gaining new knowledge to prepare for the future. However, over the long years, my memories were lost. And you know the rest of the story, Sophie. Something like that happened? Yes. Allowing Luard to resurrect himself was my failure. If Luard is allowed to go free, he will likely resume his alchemy research. And if he continues, something terrible could happen once again. That must be prevented at all costs. In order to do that, we need to figure out where Luard fled to. Hmm. Where would he have gone? I have no idea. Actually, I suppose it would be more correct to say that I can't remember. It's likely that I already know where he would have gone. But I can't remember where. I see. Oh, maybe? Maybe if we keep bringing back your memories like before, you'll remember where he would go? Yes, that seems very possible. However, we don't have much time to go about it leisurely. I'll do what I can to investigate where Luard went. You continue improving your alchemy skills, Sophie. That will likely be the quickest way of finding where he went. Okay, I understand. Leave that to me, Plakta. Let's see. Important event. Improve your alchemy skills. Um, I kind of already have. Um, unless you're you're saying I need to do more game. Um, all right, this is going to be a short one because I've got to go. But I will see you all later. Bye, guys.